Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop today. Today we are gonna be working on a gun case, particularly a 1980 Smith & Wesson model 29.2 and 44 Magnum gun case. Uh, we will be redoing all of the flock inside of the gun case itself. We're gonna be doing it in a royal blue. So if you guys are interested in how to flock your gun case or how to make your gun case look a little bit more presentable, stick around. Thank you. Original flocking. It's coming off. You can see it was blue. Actually, looks like a marbleized finish, but this this at one time was completely covered in blue flocking. It's the original tool kit. Very nice. This insert is actually cardboard. This inner piece here is cardboard. It appears to be cardboard. It's flimsy. Original. Staples there. You can see a little bit of the original locking where the tape line was. A little messy there from the factory. We're gonna see if we can, uh... yeah, that's actually a tape. If you look at that, that's actually a strip of tape that went all the way around. I have to get that cleaned up. The molded portion of we got some styrofoam in there. Piece of styrofoam, or just regular foam rather. All the, all the old flocking in the box. sandpaper. We're just going to rough up all of our uh, surfaces here. The back has this little retaining ring. Pop that off. Clean that up as well.
like after we've got it all sanded and prepped for paint. I'm just gonna take uh, some alcohol prep pads and clean it. Prep this cardboard surface. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. This surface has been completely sanded, although it might not look like it. And hit with a alcohol pad all the way around. You're gonna to want to make sure that you prep your surface really good. Okay, so the product that we're gonna be using for this is called Flocket um, Suede Tex, and this is a really good instruction manual on how to apply. And it uh specifically says in here that um, if you can't figure it out, find a junior high student to uh, help you do it. So it should be pretty simple. Uh, this color is royal blue. It's a very bright blue. And the glue or the adhesive is color matched as well in medium blue. So it should be pretty straightforward. So this is your flocker, your flock tube. Your two separate halves. Now you're going to want to fill this tube, it says about halfway up with the flock. This stuff is very powdery. close to halfway. Probably enough for now. Can't see down in there. And once you put your top on, it says to do it very slowly. Now we're going to do this piece here, we're going to paint it, and we're going to flock it. So this is after the adhesive has been applied. You have to work quickly because you only have about a 15 minute window before you can uh, use the flocker and start flocking that thing. There's a lot of excessive um, flock in there. So it looks a little full up there, but that's because I had caked this thing. The instructions say to use way more than you need. And I did just that. So now you have to let and sit it dry overnight. And we should be able to tap the uh, excess off and see what it looks like okay so this is kind of what you're left with all the excess flocking this is some super fine powdery stuff now you can uh re-harvest this and reuse it um i didn't really go over exactly how to use this thing because i was in kind of a hurry you only have about a 15 minute time to work with it and uh my tripod fell off the counter and snapped it so when you're applying the flock, 
it says to twist in a downward motion as you're doing it. Um, it's really simple to do. So in the end, after I scraped everything up, I was left with a pretty big pile of flock left over. Okay, so one thing I did forget to show is uh, it said to let this sit for between 10 and 15 hours. I let it sit at right at 12 hours. And then all you do is you flip your part upside down and just tap it lightly and let all the loose particles fall off. Let's see if you can kinda see if that's what you're left with. And this is a, this is a piece of cardboard. It's, it's incredible. How it came out looking. Get on the light here. I mean, every little nook and cranny of this case, even down in there, that, that piece is cardboard as well with the staples, if you remember. I mean, it just came out looking really, 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 really good. Very pleased with the uh, the texture and the way everything came out. I did the same to the uh, to the actual just foam pad. Very pleased with the way that came out. Um, even took the little. Smith and Wesson emblem there. Sorry for my dirty fingernails. And polished it up. It actually came out looking really good. And uh, even all the way down to the teeny tiny collar. That was actually corroded. It was green. Um, so we'll put all that stuff back together. And we'll spiff this case up. Okay, so the product we're going to be using on the case here is called Howard's Feed and Wax. It's actually wood polish. Um, it has uh, beeswax, carnauba wax, and orange oil. Uh, this is supposed to be a, a real good little natural style polish. Let's give it a try. Yummy. Now it did take some... Um, Final finish, super fine uh, steel wool here. And actually got a pad and just very lightly run over the, the surface that you're gonna be shining up. This just removes any imperfections to make sure that wood is perfectly smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Howard's and I'm going to put it on a pad. This is what I would normally wax a vehicle with. This is some pretty thick stuff. And I'm just going to work it into this wood here. It smells really nice. You actually have to put this, apply this, and then I'm going to work it in the wood really good. And then you want to let it sit for about 20 minutes prior to trying to wipe it off. So that looks pretty good. We'll let it sit there for about 20 minutes and then we will wipe it off. All right, now that everything has kind of been sitting there for a while, we're going to take our dry cloth. And it's not as shiny as it was, but it still looks really good. And I'll just wipe 
this entire surface down. All right, so that's what it looks like. We've kind of polished up our little brass buckles and stuff there, or latches rather. It's a nice dovetail box. It came out looking pretty good. And now the moment of truth. I'm very pleased with the way it came out. I even used that uh, Howard's on the inside of this case here, all the way around. Um, this was a lighter looking color that kind of made it stand out. It really makes that brass there pop. But as far as the actual Flocket product itself, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Once again, this is royal blue. Flock it, suede tex. Let me know if you guys have any questions. All right, everybody. That is it for our Smith & Wesson uh, gun case, the Flocking by Flocket. Uh, that was a super easy process. I hope that helps some of you out there. Now, this process did take a few days. Um, just because we had to let it dry, you had to let it cure, you had to prep it and do all that fun stuff. But uh, I think the result to me was, was totally worth it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please let me know. Uh, we did hit our 1,000 subscriber mark, so I appreciate everybody for tuning in big time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Until next time, take care. If you do have any questions, you can always message me uh, on YouTube or at scottlink underscore L5P on Instagram. And if I can help you out, I absolutely will. So appreciate it.